My name is Blake Wynn. I'm the director of the Teaching Dairy Barn as well as a lecturer in dairy production, medicine, and management. I have 50% effort in the College of Veterinary Medicine and 50% effort in cows. Uh, and all my responsibilities uh, include teaching and the operation of this teaching dairy barn. In my role as the director of the teaching dairy, I uh, oversee a team of full-time staff as well as veterinary student staff uh, to basically ensure the optimal care of the cows and uh, smooth operations of the uh, facility so that it can be an uh, educational resource for our students and our visitors. My background which is a bit unique for academia. Um, so I'm a 2012 graduate of Cornell's vet school and uh, after vet school I was a private practitioner in dairy practice in northern Vermont and serving clients uh, in northern New York as well. So I was the vet you think of uh, out in a truck, going from farm to farm, doing emergency calls, as well as herd health uh, management, consulting, and that kind of thing for dairy farms of really all sizes, uh, organic and conventional, small and relatively large, at least for that region of the country. Um, so after doing that for four years, I found out about this position, which I knew involved management of the dairy on campus and teaching and for me that was really exciting um, so I don't have a typical like graduate field or research background like many uh, faculty do um, but I'm just as passionate about trying to get my um, you know knowledge and skills uh, out there for students to to learn from. Dairy is an amazing resource for students in every program, um, but especially our animal science and veterinary students who get to come out and uh, perform hands-on management and health activities um, in labs, especially in classes like uh, Dairy Cattle Principles, Herd Health, uh, Dairy Repro with Dr. Giordano. Um, dairy Nutrition with Dr. Overton. Um, all those courses include labs out here at the dairy where students get to perform exactly the tasks that they learn about, uh, the techniques that are needed to uh, gain insight about the various subject matters that they're studying. Um, so I have had tons of uh, animal science students out here performing their very first blood draw, their very first uh, physical exam on a cow. They see and hear and feel the rumen of the cow move and contract uh, for the first time um, out here. Some have been lucky enough to see calves be born um, and you know feed newborn calves and things like that. Um, so the animal science students get to have those hands-on experiences, um, develop skills that will be useful for them depending uh, for, their, for their various career paths. And I think uh, it's a really nice resource so close to campus that we can bring, bring a class out here in one lab period and um, have relatively easy access. For the last six years I've served uh, here in this lecture position as a director and um, I would say it's been interesting because I have not changed the management strategy or, or production strategy of this dairy in any major way at all since I've been here but what I have done I think somewhat effectively is uh, incorporated a lot of the uh, teaching goals and outreach goals that the university more broadly has into the operations of the dairy. So it's about as good a 175 cow dairy as it was when I took it over, um, but I think we have more students doing more things here and we are through uh, 
avenues such as this, reaching more people with stories about cow care, cow health, food production, and uh, agricultural education, and so forth.